Pakistan's Chief Justice Qazi Fawaz Isa has denied rumors of accepting a tenure extension. He reiterated this stance when asked about reports of agreeing to an extension if applied to all judges. Jo ek angrezi mein milestone kehte hain ki Supreme Court kanun kehta hai ki 16 judges aur ek chief justice pe mushtamil hai yani ki 17 judges. Ye Supreme Court kai saalon se pura nahi tha. तो इसमें हमने जजेस पूरे किए यानी कि 16 जजेस हुए अपॉइंट जुडिशियल कमीशन के जरिए से ये जुडिशियल कमीशन को इसका एजाज जाता है मुझे नहीं जब ये जजेस पूरे हो गए तो बल्कि पहले हमने फैसला किया था कि इतने क्योंकि केसेस हैं अब इनको कम भी तो किसी ने करना है हम प्लान आखिरकार केसेस उसी वक्त फैस होंगे जब जजेस कोर्ट में बैठ के उनके फैसले करें आप कोई भी दुनिया का भी प्लान बना लें मगर एक ही तरीका कार है सुनना है और फैसले करना है चाहे कितनी देर हो जाए कोर्ट में बैठने के जब तक ये नहीं किया जाएगा सिर्फ प्लान से केसेस कम नहीं होंगे जजेस को भी काम करना है तो ये मैं अपने आप पे भी उंगली उठा रहा हूँ कि कोशिश की जाए कि तमाम कॉज लिस्ट खत्म की जाए वो केसेस को कम से बहुत ही कोई वजह हो खास वजह हो तो उसको उसमें तारीख दी जाए During the full court reference on Monday, marking the beginning of the new judicial year, CJP Isa emphasized transparency through live court hearings for matters of public importance. In other news, the Islamabad Accountability Court has halted the National Accountability Bureau (NAB) from pursuing a new Toshakhana case against former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife. The case has been transferred to the Federal Investigation Agency (FIA) court. following recent amendments that strip nab of jurisdiction imran khan imprisoned for nearly a year will have his bail applications reviewed by the fia court which will decide on his release the case will be tried under the prevention of corruption act 1947 meanwhile journalists staged protests in the senate and national assembly on monday against objectionable remarks made by khyber pakhtunkhwa chief minister ali amin gandapur the pti leadership quickly issued an unconditional apology following the backlash mera khayal hai sare journalisto ko nahi refer kiya lekin jin journalisto ko unka dil azari hui hai to main unconditional उनका मकसद हर किस किसी ने कहा कि आप लोगों के बारे में कुछ ऐसे अल्फाज बोले In a significant ruling, India's Supreme Court has dismissed a public interest litigation pill that sought to compel the federal government to halt licenses for Indian firms exporting arms to Israel. A bench led by Chief Justice Dai Chandrachet emphasized that the court could not interfere in matters of foreign policy, noting that any breach of contractual obligations by these firms could lead to lawsuits rather than a halt in exports. The judges highlighted the complexity of the issue, pointing out that under international law, such as the UN's Genocide Convention, there could be repercussions that impact India's foreign relations. Meanwhile, two hospitals in northern Gaza are on the brink of shutting down due to a severe fuel shortage, local health officials have warned. The Indonesian hospital, a key medical facility in the region, is struggling to maintain services with its intensive care unit already at full capacity. The blockade on fuel by Israel has pushed the hospital's operating rooms to run continuously, and officials fear a complete halt in medical services if the situation persists. Concerns are growing in Lebanon as violence along the border with Israel continues to escalate, with near-daily exchanges of fire between Hezbollah and Israeli forces since October. Lebanon's caretaker Prime Minister Najib Makati has summoned Western ambassadors for an emergency meeting in a bid to find a diplomatic solution. Although Lebanon is not directly involved in the conflict, Hezbollah's actions are close Closely tied to the ongoing Israeli military campaign in Gaza, the group has conditioned a ceasefire on a halt to the onslaught in Gaza, while Israel demands security guarantees to allow the return of displaced residents. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza continues to worsen, with the enclave's health ministry reported that at least 40,988 Palestinians have been killed and 94,825 others injured since Israel launched its military campaign on October 7. The Indian Supreme Court has ordered protesting doctors to resume work by Tuesday, warning of adverse action if they don't comply. The court says no action will be taken if doctors return to work by Tuesday evening. Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachet emphasized that doctors must serve the community's needs. The court directed the West Bengal government to address doctors' concerns, including providing separate facilities and CCTV cameras. The court also formed a hospital safety task force after taking up the matter following outrage over the rape and murder of a female medic in Kolkata. Hundreds of doctors nationwide have been on strike demanding justice and better working conditions. A police 
volunteer and the former principal of the college have been arrested in connection with the crime. Doctors are also demanding better amenities in government-run hospitals, citing lack of security and basic infrastructure. Meanwhile, demonstrations have spread globally, with diaspora Indians protesting in over 130 cities across 25 countries, including Japan, Australia, Europe, and the US. With the US presidential election just two months away, the race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris is tightening up. A recent New York Times and Siena College poll shows Trump leading with 48% to Harris's 47%. However, when averaging national polls, Harris takes the lead with 49% to Trump's 47%. The first televised debate on September 10 will be crucial for both candidates. Nearly 30% of respondents said they're not well informed about Harris's political stance, which could be a challenge for her. On the other hand, most voters feel they understand Trump's views. As the election approaches, both candidates will intensify their campaigns, focusing on key battleground states and undecided voters. The race's outcome is far from certain, and the debate will be a key moment in the campaign. The election is set for November 5th.